Welcome to Interlock Device of New Jersey. This is your orientation video. We are the leading provider of interlock devices throughout the state of New Jersey, so thank you for choosing our company. We've been putting devices in vehicles for a long time. In September of 2004, we installed our very first device into a vehicle, so rest assured you chose the right company. We also understand that you've been through a lot to get to this point which is why we, an interlock device, want to make this experience as smooth and painless for you as possible. In this video, we're going to show you how to properly use your interlock device. We'll show you how to successfully take a bread sample, how to drive the device in your vehicle, how to properly care for and maintain your device. We're going to show you how to come in for your recalibration appointments and go over all the do's and don'ts of having an interlock device in your vehicle. We'll provide you with all the paperwork and your contract you need to have your license restored so you can get back to driving like normal. If you have any questions, our certified technician will go over anything with you at the end. First, let's take a look at how easy it is to use your Draeger Model XT. You may have heard, the Interlock XT is the fastest product on the market, allowing you to complete a breath test in less than 10 seconds. Let's see how fast it can be. Make sure that the tab on the mouthpiece is pushed securely into the notch on the device. To start the Interlock XT, put your key in the ignition and turn it to the on position. Or if you have a push button ignition, press the start button to turn your car on. In either case, you'll see the device won't let your engine start just yet. First, your device will complete a self-test and warm-up. You'll see the message, warming up, please wait on the device display while this is happening. When the Interlock XT is ready to take your breath sample, it will beep and a yellow LED light will flash. The message, ready for test, please blow, will then appear. Make sure that you are breathing calmly and evenly before you start your test. When you're ready, take a deep breath in, wrap your lips completely around the mouthpiece and blow steadily into it. You'll hear a solid tone as you blow, which lets you know you are blowing into the device properly. When the tone stops, immediately take a long, deep breath in, sucking the air back in until you hear another tone. Don't pause between blowing out and sucking in, or the device won't be able to analyze your sample. That's all it takes to complete a breath test. Before we move on, let's take a quick look at this breathing technique again. Just a deep breath in, a steady breath out, and a long, deep breath back in. It's that simple. If your breath alcohol concentration is below the preset limit, the message test passed will appear on the device display. Another message, free start time will soon follow, counting down the time you have left to start your vehicle. If your ignition starts with a key, turn your key to start your engine. Or if you have a push button ignition, press the start button again while applying the brake to start your engine. Once your engine is started, the Interlock XT will display a message that says, drive safely. Sometimes a breath sample may not be provided correctly. If so, the Interlock XT will help you try again. For example, if your breathing was too hard or too soft, the device will display a message telling you what you're doing wrong. Just read the message and then respond by pressing OK to try again. When the device is ready for a new sample, the message, ready for test, please blow, will appear on screen. If your breath alcohol concentration exceeds the preset limit, your vehicle cannot be started and test failed will be displayed. This will be followed by the message, temporary lockout. If this happens, a timer will show you how much time you need to wait before trying the test again. This lockout time has been established by local policies along with your monitoring agency. Your interlock technician will tell you how long you'll need to wait before you can take your next test. Once the temporary lockout has expired, the Interlock XT will ask you to take another breath test. Just keep in mind that any failed tests will be reported to your monitoring agency. And a special note, a clean breath sample can be compromised if you consume any products that contain alcohol before getting into your car. 
You should also make sure there's nothing in your mouth that might get stuck in the mouthpiece causing a clog. And remember, it is your responsibility to be able to provide a clean breath sample. A good practice is to avoid eating or drinking anything except water for at least 15 minutes before a test. The Interlock XT has been designed to give you random retests during your journey to ensure you stay sober. When it's time for a retest, a tone will sound, the yellow LED will flash, and retest required, please blow, will appear on screen. At this point, you'll have a few minutes to stop your vehicle in a safe place and start your retest. We strongly encourage you to pull off the road to a secure area during any random retest. Make sure you don't turn off the engine while you're taking a retest. Rest assured, your engine will not be disabled while you complete your test. Once you're finished, if the message, test passed, appears on the screen, you can continue driving. Any retest you take, whether failed or not, will be reported to your monitoring agency. Keep in mind that you're responsible for operating your vehicle safely at all times. Also keep in mind that you must complete every random retest, even if you're arriving at your destination when a retest occurs. Failing to complete any random retest will be recorded as a violation by your device. For this reason, it's critical that you do not leave your vehicle while it's running. If you're not in the car when the random retest is signaled, it will be recorded as a test failure. When you turn off your engine, an engine restart period will begin. During this time, the device will let you restart your vehicle without taking another test. The message, free start time, will appear along with a countdown of the time you have to restart your vehicle. If this time expires, you'll need to take another test to restart your engine. Okay. Now that we've seen just how easy it is to use and operate your vehicle with the Draeger XT, there are a few things I'm going to go over with you at this time. Handset violations, what causes them and how to avoid them, rolling retests, and proper care of your device. The first thing I'm going to talk about are handset violations. The two major and most common things you can get a handset violation for are failing a test for a high BAC and not taking a rolling retest. If you fail a test for a high BAC, a one hour lockout countdown will occur. After the lockout has expired, you can take another breath sample and drive the vehicle like normal. And rolling retests. It's very important that you take all the rolling retests. You can also get a violation if the handset is disconnected, an untested engine run, or tampering with the device. And lastly, if the vehicle battery ever goes dead. This is what a rolling retest looks like. The device will beep loudly, the handset will read, retest required, please blow. Analyzing, please wait, test passed, and back to drive safely. I'll go over more rolling retests with you in a few minutes. Back to the violations. Five things you can get a violation for. Failing a test for a high BAC, not taking a rolling retest, if the handset is disconnected, an untested engine run, or tampering with the device, and if your vehicle battery ever goes dead. Those are the five things you can get a handset violation for. It's important to always keep your battery charged. If you're not going to be driving your vehicle for an extended period of time, it's a good idea to go out and drive it once in a while or start it up to make sure your battery stays charged. 
If you exceed the maximum amount of violations permitted according to your state parameters, a lockout countdown will occur. The device will read, lockout in seven days, and so on. The device will count down by one day, every day, until on the last day, the handset will read, device lockout today. At midnight on that day, you will not be able to start your vehicle. It's very important to always pay attention to any service or lockout countdown messages displayed on your handset. Now, rolling retests. The first thing I want to tell you about rolling retests is that they're random. You never know when the rolling retest will happen. The first retest will be 5 to 15 minutes after you start the vehicle up. Every additional test after that will be 20 to 45 minutes. If you're driving the vehicle for an hour straight, you can expect to take approximately two retests per hour of continuous driving. The next thing I want to tell you is that once the machine beeps and asks for a retest, you have five minutes to comply. Five minutes to pull over when you feel like it's safe. If you're driving down the road, and the interlock device beeps and asks for a retest, don't panic. Just remember you have five minutes to pull over and take that retest. It's also important to always take all the rolling retests. Even if you pull up to your destination, whether it be your house, your job, if the device beeps and asks for a rolling retest, do not turn the vehicle off. If you don't take that rolling retest, even if you're at your destination, it will result in a handset violation. Next, I want to tell you, never leave your vehicle running unattended. Don't leave your vehicle running and go back inside your house or run inside the convenience store. Don't leave your vehicle running and warm up in the morning. If you're not in the vehicle, when the machine beeps and asks for a retest, that will result in a handset violation. And lastly, I want to say the device will never shut your vehicle off. It's a common misconception that the interlock device will turn off your vehicle while you're driving. That's simply not safe. It's not possible. The interlock device will never turn your vehicle off. If you don't take a retest, it will result in a handset violation. At Interlock Device, we understand your personal hygiene is important to you. There are a few things we want to warn you about. Number one, mouthwash. Mouthwash is 21.6% alcohol. If you're going to use mouthwash, please wait 15 to 20 minutes before you pick up the machine and use it. It's also a good idea to rinse your mouth out with water a few times before you take a breath sample. Number two, hand sanitizer. Active ingredient, ethyl alcohol, 62%. Please do not use hand sanitizer and then pick up your machine and take a test. Particles from the hand sanitizer will get inside your mouthpiece and cause a failed test. Body spray or perfume. Please do not spray this in or around your vehicle. Just like the hand sanitizer, particles from the body spray will get inside your mouthpiece and give you a failed test. Sugar-free foods also contain sugar alcohols which could contaminate your breath sample. It's a good idea to wait 15 to 20 minutes after you eat or drink any food or beverages before you use the device. Now we understand sometimes that's not possible. If you have a long drive or you're on a road trip, the machine will beep for a rolling retest. If that happens, rinse your mouth out with water so you can take a clean breath sample before you take the retest. Lastly, I want to talk about proper care of your interlock device. 
Treat your Draeger XT handset like you would any other electronic device by taking good care of it and keeping it clean. In the summertime, as the temperatures get hot, keep your handset wrapped up in a white cloth or a dish towel when it's not in use and on the floor out of the direct sunlight. Likewise, in the wintertime, it's a good idea to also keep your handset wrapped up. If you're dropping your vehicle off at a mechanic for any type of service work, please give your mechanic our 1-800 number and have them call and ask for access codes. The access code will allow your mechanic to work on your vehicle and start it up at their leisure without taking a breath sample. You don't have to worry about them blowing into your machine for you or getting any unnecessary violations that may happen. Simply give your mechanic our 1-800 number have them call and ask for access codes to work on the vehicle. Right now your certified technician is in the back installing the ignition interlock device into your vehicle. After the installation process is finished, your technician will come up and go over the contract with you. Any questions you still have can be answered at this time. The contract and state issued motor vehicle certificate must be taken to a regional motor vehicle service center after your installation has been completed. The regional motor vehicle service center will then issue you a new driver's license with an interlock device restriction printed right on the front. You are now free to drive at your leisure any vehicle that has an interlock device installed in that vehicle. Please take note that you are only allowed to drive a vehicle with an interlock device installed at this time. After you've gotten used to your interlock device and driving with it for a while, the handset will let you know when your service appointment is coming up. One week before your monitoring check appointment, the handset will read service required in seven days every time you turn on the key and the machine wakes up. The device will count down by one day, every day, until your service appointment. On that day, when you get in the vehicle and turn the key on, the handset will read service required today. Please note, a service required countdown is not the same as a device lockout countdown. It is extremely important that you read your handset and pay close attention to what the screen reads every time you get into your vehicle. When you arrive at Interlock Device for your service appointment, there's no need to go back into the front office. Simply stay in your vehicle and pull up to the shop door. Your appointment will take approximately 5 to 10 minutes and there's no need to even get out of your vehicle. At your service appointment, pull up as directed by your technician and put your window down. Your technician will ask for your vehicle odometer reading and if your handset has been functioning properly. Your technician will then connect your handset up to our computer to perform a monitoring check and give your device a fresh calibration. Your technician will document any violations that you may have incurred and if there is any suspicious activity or tampering with the device. During your monitoring check, the technician will schedule your next service appointment and collect your rental payment. After this short process, you'll be on your way. After your state mandated time with your interlock device has been completed and you are past the restriction date on your driver's license, it will be time to come in for your removal appointment. At your removal appointment, you will pull into the shop as directed by your technician and return to the waiting room. The actual removal of the interlock device will take less time than the original installation. Your vehicle will be returned back to exactly the way it was prior to installation. You will then sign a removal slip stating you have satisfied all the requirements of having an interlock device and you will be on your way. 
Take your removal slip back to any motor vehicle service center and have a new driver's license issued. You are now free to drive any vehicle at your leisure, but remember, please drive smart. While you are waiting for your technician to finish up with the installation and paperwork, please take a minute to program our 1-800 number into the contacts of your cell phone. This will prove to be very helpful in the future if you ever need to contact us to reschedule an appointment or if you have any other questions. I also want to bring your attention to the three buttons on the front of the handset. When pressed, you will enter the handset menu, which will allow you to view your upcoming service date and also our 1-800 phone number. The buttons can also be used to enter an unlock code if you were ever passed your service appointment. Lastly, please pick up one of our quick reference guides and look it over while you are waiting. Keep it in a handy place in your vehicle and refer back to it if you have any future questions. Thanks again for choosing Interlock Device of New Jersey. Your technician will be with you shortly to go over your contract and answer any further questions you may still have.